just you know ten out of ten. I'm getting on about I still can't read a vibe. Cause my world is on fire, but we're saying we're doing fine. I never thought I'd make it here past one five. Ooh, but maybe I just overthink it and waste it. Welcome to this video. So in this section of the Australia travel vlogs, we're traveling from Cairns down the east coast to Magnetic Island. And I loved this leg of the journey, particularly visiting the Dane Tube Rainforest. It was amazing. So I know that this will be a video that I'll love to look back on in years to come. I really felt a lot of gratitude at this stage of the trip for being the version of me that gets to do this. And I was feeling quite present, quite in the moment, and just really trying to soak it all up as much as I could because we've been traveling for a while at this point, have been all around Southeast Asia, and this was our last five weeks of the trip. So I was really trying to soak it all up, absorb as much as I could, and just appreciate it for what it was. Because, oh my God, time does fly. On this day, we went around the Cairns Botanical Gardens, which was stunning, really, really pretty, and some very aesthetic leaves, which I just love and make me very happy. <laughs> I then pushed myself to hire a car and take the five of us on a road trip for three days. This was definitely out of my comfort zone, but I'm really so glad I did it because it was honestly one of the highlights of the whole time in Australia. And here is us heading out on our mini East Coast road trip to the Daintree Rainforest. Welcome to Australia. This is the start of the Australia vlogs and we've just made it to the Daintree National Park. So we've hired a car for a few days and we're going to go explore the national park. It's the oldest rainforest in the world and it's absolutely stunning. This is Mossaman Gorge and we've just been swimming down in the swimming hole. So beautiful, honestly. Can't get over it. The sky is so blue and the green is just so green. It's just amazing absolutely loving the heat here in Asia. It's lovely and hot, but quite a sticky, like sweaty hot. Here it's just, you know, 10 out of 10, great. <laughs> I have a bit of a sore throat, so apologies for the husky voice. So far, I've only seen one spider. So doing pretty well, we've been here about three days and only one spider. So that's pretty good going to be honest. Um, hopefully, we will continue to see a few spiders and small spiders rather than massive ones. So we learned yesterday that these are basket ferns and it's kind of like the food court of the rainforest. So lots of bugs living in there, which attracts the slightly bigger animals, which attracts the even bigger animals and just a big old food chain going on in the basket ferns that just kind of grow on the trees, which is pretty cool. There's something so calming about being in a forest and the particularly like the canopy on the top, the green canopy, I just love it. It feels so yeah, calming. What happens if I lose my way with the compass and a map I made looking for my shadow in the dark? What happens if I look for you with the compass and my tennis shoes and find you holding someone else's heart? I'm sleeping on your bedroom floor. I let my feelings wash ashore You told me I'm projecting and I don't move with much direction anymore I don't know what I'm looking for We've made it to Cape Trib for the Daintree Rainforest and the Great Barrier Reef somewhere out there and apparently it's the only place in the world where two UNESCO World Heritage Sites meet, which is very cool. Pretty stunning. So I get up and I 
like it just we think we've seen a croc. We've seen a croc. <laughs> My god. It's there again. It's there. You can, oh, you can barely yeah. see, but it's this. It's clearer in person. That's crazy. Easy. Yeah, because the rest of it's lighter, and then. Can I take a video for my sisters? Yeah, this can. This up for a video. It's that. It is moving as well. Oh. Yeah, don't it's get It's big. Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so let's go. So I get up and I get dressed Playing Pokemon on my old 3DS There's a title card that Wake says Wake up in Daintree Rainforest So pretty We're headed to Mason's swimming hole Woo! <laughs> in the car I can't believe I care This is uh, one of the biggest crocodiles around here in the water. They're all oh, look at that brush turkey. We're not gonna stop for brush turkey. <laughs> <laughs> if you're already uh, traveling in Australia a little bit, you'll see me on. on Gorgeous little lunch spot in Port Douglas. Well, it hasn't been on the I radar yet, but. I do. So, after our trip to the Daintree Rainforest, we continued on our road trip to the Atherton Tablelands and stayed a night in Yungaburra. It was such a gorgeous place, and we even saw some wild platypuses, which was amazing. We're at Eacham Lake, which is the Crater Lake formed by heat under the earth erupting, I think. Something like that. And an absolute highlight in this area was Miller Miller Falls. It's where they filmed the Herbal Essences advert and it's just absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love this and I really felt like we were making proper memories swimming through the bottom of that waterfall. The water falling on you was so heavy and it was also absolutely freezing but this was so much fun. We're at Miller Miller Falls, just been swimming in the pool underneath. I'm going through the bottom which is crazy. Um, so beautiful. Before we began the very long drive back to Cairns, we stopped off at Lake Barine, which was absolutely beautiful, as everywhere is in Australia, I feel like. Yeah. You become so desensitised to how stunning places are while you're constantly on the move, constantly seeing amazing things, so I was really trying to absorb it all, and this was such a beautiful place. Another random little stop off on our way back was this absolutely massive tree. We just saw the signs and I actually missed the turning for it. So we ended up driving a little bit further and I was like, I'm gonna turn back and let's go and see this big tree. I can't quite remember how wide it was, but you can kind of see the scale from these videos. It was really, really cool. <laughs> Oh, 
Another fun day out was spent on the Sky Rail near Cairns. This takes you over the Barren Gorge National Park, which kind of like leads into the Daintree Rainforest. I guess at one point it was all linked up. But today the tourists only survived in Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, and some islands around us. And this one is. Driving from the city back to New Jersey I guess they didn't want me to stay Living in close proximity Makes you want to reach out to former flames But I'll be across the Hudson Keeping away Cause I fell in love with you Not the dive boats with beneath stuff. <laughs> Six thirty, heading for our first Greyhound bus. I'll feel your leg. Like. <laughs> Made it. Currently at Magnetic Island and just behind this rock, he's just disappeared a little bit, but there's a little rock wallaby. Oh, there he is. Just there. I think there's a colony of rock wallabies on Magnetic Island. And I've seen quite a few hopping around these rocks, which is very sweet. Here he is. From far away, she looks so good. And our first class. Grew up in the same neighborhood. <laughs> and that's how of salt in the wound. Spend a few hours on the reservoir. Never broke a bone, so I'm gonna try hard to prove you wrong. That I'm not who I used to. <laughs> and then it was onwards to early beach our next destination i really hope you've enjoyed watching this video from our time in cairns daintree rainforest the atherton tablelands and magnetic island this was such a fun leg of the trip and there's lots more where this came from i've got three more travel vlogs coming out so be sure to subscribe and stick around to see those hope you enjoyed it thanks so much for watching bye Sometimes I'm a loner. I wish that you'd have closed.
Sun.